Have you got my special delivery stored safely? Yes, of course. It's in my dad's shed. Listen, Harry, I told you to store them somewhere warm and secure. Look, it's the best I could do. Harry, don't understand. They have to be in the warm, otherwise terrible things could happen. Okay, I'll get my brother and his friend to move them. Oh, anyway, how's your health problem been, Harry? It keeps happening two or three times a day. You're just going to need to learn how to live with it. I guess so, anyway. I'll call my brother and his friend now. Do I? Yes, listen. There are some boxes in Dad's shed, so I need you to move into my bedroom before Dad gets home. Why? Daniel, there's no time to talk. But we need to do so. Harry? on the phone. Listen to it. Typical of him. He's always messing about. Bye. Ridiculous. There's nothing going to be in that shed. Daniel, it's just a plastic skeleton. Yeah, but it fell on me. It scared me. Come on, let's get on with it. Whoa, Frankenstein's monster Dracula! Calm down. I'm not being funny, Sinead, but these boxes are proper creepy. Seriously, Daniel, how old are you? I'm old enough to know when there's something we should be wary of. Whatever, I'll start with this box. Frankenstein monster. Now get a grip and start doing some work. Look, I think I'm seeing things Dad. Just don't leave me here on my own. It's starting to get a little bit freaky. Just do some of the clearing and I'm going to go home.
afraid he won't hurt you. Come. about with we need to find whatever was in that box and put it back to escape. At least we're still alive. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Invisible Man.